Alright, mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test. Alright, there we go. So, this is a Kiba's beat. Get started with this game. Um, XD, we're going to turn this all the way up. I intended to do this uh, live stream, but my live stream quality is acting too funny right now. So, I ain't, I ain't got time for all that. So, we're going to do this the best that I can. Offline, good as I can get it. DLC package has been found, others have been added accordingly. The only thing I downloaded was that little free t shirt BS. I don't care about that. The night sky is a tapestry of shooting stars, each bearing a wish upon it. But what are those wishes? Oh, and this is supposed People to be like a spoof. Life. They wish for this is like a, like a JRPG spoof, Some supposedly. If I read it correctly, others, the past. So I'm, ass but I'm assuming this is supposed to have some hilarity to it. Such absurd hopes, wishes. What we call wishes are, well, nothing more than delusions. That's not to say one should feel guilty for indulging in them. Of course, each and every human is. At his or her core, a being who dines on delusion. <laughs> no, that's not quite right. Please allow me to rephrase. Humans are the only beings capable of self-delusion. In a way, that's a power. One granted exclusively to the human race. Delusions allow people to wallow in their most idealized, impossible dreams, free from reality. In fact, it can be said without a shred of hyperbole that this is man's single true joy. But humans, oh, they are well aware that their delusions do not in any way represent reality. And perhaps that is the most tragic indictment one could make of reality. But that's precisely the reason delusions exist, the reason they serve the function they serve. And yet, and yet, what if a delusion were to suddenly become real? Could you think of anything more wonderful? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I exist. Now, draw the curtain. Indulge in a spectacular delusion that transcends your wild dreams. Oh, now where might this be? Push the left stick to close. And on the enemy, the distance between you. You play video games, you know. <laughs> so, you, so even so, it seems like even working with the tutorial. Run button makes you run, man. Run. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> But you can hold the free run button to freely run around a battlefield. Okay. Press the attack button to strike enemies with regular attacks. Chain these attack create combos. Combos for days. Press the attack button while pushing the left stick. The right analog to perform a moving attack. Press the attack button while pushing the left on the analog stick, pushing the left analog stick up to form rising attack. Okay, press down. Press the X buttons for a sub kill. Just a kill. You can mix them up into your combos and assign them specific combinations to the left analog plus skill button. Okay. Do you think Ember's Edge? Do you think Ember's Edge? Really just say do your thing? Okay. 
now you know the basics. The enemies will start fighting back, so use what you learn to take them down. You like the uh, job, not so fast. Uh. That was. Could this be a delusion all its own? No problem. What's in the drum? Okay. Well, obviously. Target the enemy well press that target button, dang it. <laughs> to assign some buttons. You know what I can really do right now. Or is this reality? Come and get me. I'm right, gonna press the button doesn't make the button to open up the menu. Allowing you to use items set up skill tactics if you're a wuss or retreat. <laughs> oh, they really. Here, the advantage in combat by leverage. Pat yourself on the back until you've beaten one final enemy. Afterwards, you may pat away. stand on either side of you. Welcome to the interstice between reality and delusion. Here, whether you exist within reality or delusion is merely a matter of perspective. So, shall we commence? Shall we descend into this delusion that presents itself as reality? And this reality that seems an illusion? 
I mean, I guess, I guess the game won't get started or not. <laughs> okay, or not. Dialogue that they got for certain things is, it's pretty hilarious. Like I said, they, they said that this is supposed to be a spoof of Japanese RPGs, so I can only take it as is. Yeah, they're going by chapters, so it means I could do one chapter per video if I so choose. Crap, crap, crap! Damn hell, ass crap! I am so late! Mizuki's gonna chew my head off! And I'm gonna need that to read the early copy of the latest weekly chop he got for me, too. I gotta get over to Junk Street like yesterday! Oh, wow. That's the same as like I mean, what's in the fridge? We can't see what's in the fridge. We're just gonna head out. The, the combat control is gonna take some getting used to, but everything else is like pretty good. Ah, uh, there's nothing like Akiba on a Saturday. It's a madhouse, sure, but it's my madhouse. Master, allow me out, Mike Musameda, to welcome you to this fine establishment. Uh, what? Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. It'll only take a meow month, I swear. I represent Neon Dreamin', a cat ear cafe which opens tomorrow. And pr 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 presenting our grand opening special. Only 222 yen per drink. It's a steal. Oh, here, take this flyer as a souvenir. Uh, thanks. Wait, didn't this place used to be a bunny ear cafe, like, a month ago? <laughs> that was then. This is now. Bunny ears are way out, and kitty ears are super duper in. Man, Akiba doesn't waste any time replacing little pop-ups like this, does it? It's kind of brutal. Yeah! <sighs> Crap, it's Mizuki. Hello? Don't you hello me? You kept me waiting for two hours. Any sane person would have left ages ago. T sorry. Where are you anyway? Oh, I'm on my way, I swear. Sprinting down the road as we speak. Be there in five. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Five minutes. I'll be here, but I'm betting you won't. Yep, Mizuki is definitely not happy with me. Meow. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but I gotta run. I've got a friend waiting for me. Then I'll be waiting right here for you to return, Meowster. Right. Okay. I hope I'm going the right way. They didn't tell me or anything. Junk Street. What's Junk Street? Where is Junk Street?
Hey, from my right there. This is a plaza. This is a plaza. I mean, that's why I need some sense of direction. It's not telling me a thing. Next. I guess I gotta go down there. No reason to go this way. Wait. Junk Plaza places. This is no good. And dude, you don't want to have people going on a wild goose chase. came from here. I'm going to retrace my steps. They did not do a good job with um, mapping this thing out. There we go. Pressing every button imaginable, I can't figure out where the hell to go. Alright, right here. To the left. All the way on. Finally, we got something. At least we got the sightsee for a little bit. I'll take it for what it is. I don't know what would be so funny is if I had to um, be there within a certain time limit, which I wouldn't be surprised if they had something like that in this game, but 
if I had to be there at a certain time limit and I'm trying to figure everything out like the way I am now, I would have probably been late. What's this? Throw a gun, a bod, whatever that's supposed to be. how late you are how long you kept me waiting N no i know it's just that you know on my way here stuff happened ah oh, yes stuff okay i'll play along what sort of stuff happened today well uh, i was talking to a maid oh there's that and um huh so maids before bros huh that's the game you're playing here no 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 no, no. that's not it that is so not what i meant then by all means, elucidate. Okay, so first she just kind of called out to me, out of the blue. Then she was all, there's gonna be a cat at your cafe opening tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a cat. I mean, you know. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> I, 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 uh... Here I was all ready to yell at you, and now you've got me laughing instead. It's not fair. Guess it's not too surprising though. Against all odds, you've always had bizarrely good people skills. I... have? Wait, does avoiding all contact with other people count as a people skill now? I mean, is it just me? You might not have ever not to interrupt the dialogue here? With your peers. But this, I mean, this game has like a weird... ...vibe going on. Speaking I don't know what it is. It. Kind of creepy. This, right? Oh, it's... so beautiful. The last issue left off on a killer cliffhanger. I've been waiting so hard for this. Thank you so much. It's no problem. I was on my way to work anyway, which I'd be late for if you kept me waiting another 30 minutes. You'd still be hanging off of that cliff. Wait, you got work on a Saturday? Man, you're pretty much always working these days, huh? It suits you, though. Tutoring junior high kids, I mean. It's a very music -y thing to do. Well, what about you, Asahi? Any big plans today? Or are you gonna head home, read chop, and go to bed? Hey, that plan is plenty big. And don't act like I don't have a life. I'll have you know there's more waiting for me than just chop. I've got anime and games to finish, too. In other words, you're gonna piss away the night with nerd stuff and go to sleep sometime tomorrow morning. You say that like it's a bad thing. <sighs> Still living the neat lifestyle to the fullest, I see. What can I say? I'm a career neat. It's my vocation, my passion, my one true calling in life. Such a waste. Hmm? What is? What indeed. Anyway, some of us have work. I've got to get going. Thanks again, Mizuki. See you later. You will. Bye-bye. Well, that's enough action for one day. I might as well head home myself. I guess it's fair to say that there won't be any fast travel in this game. And then they're working on a day system, so I know something bad gonna happen. Forgive me, I'm fluctuating with the... With the sound right now. Trying to make sure that it doesn't go so... My speech. You'll hear me right. Be good. I tinker with it. Well, it seems to be a problem with this thing. I want to know if he can actually get hit by a car. That would actually be funny.
wrong, wrong, wrong. Hmm? What's with this guy? It's all wrong. This isn't the way Akihabara is supposed to be. Say what now? Why'd Akihabara have to change so much? It used to stand for something, you know? It was an audiophile's paradise, filled to bursting with dreams, desires, and high-end audio equipment. That's Akihabara. He he's actually pronouncing oh, that way now. Really terrible. It's a mess! Akihabara today is all about anime and idols and all that other nonsense. Yep, this dude's nuts. Not the kind of person I should be engaging. Are Akihabara's audiophile days truly dead and buried, never to return? Oh. He just up and left without saying goodbye. Oh, where is my beloved district gone? I'd better get home before this weirdo tries to talk to me or something. Good. I'm home. He <sighs> what an exhausting day, and I haven't even done anything. I think I'll kick things off with a power nap. It's not like I don't have time. Good night, Moon. Who's calling me now? Hello? You just woke up, didn't you? Do you have any idea what time it is right now? Oh, hey, Mizuki. Uh, morning. Wrong answer. It's almost midnight. That's about as far from morning as you can get. Oh, wow. Did I really sleep that long? Wait, why are you calling me at midnight? Did you need something? No, I don't exactly need anything. It's just that someone was so late earlier, I didn't get much chance to talk. Figured I'd remedy that now. So, uh, does that mean there's something you wanted to talk about then? Are you seriously this dense? We've been friends since, what, grade school? Then all of a sudden you drop out of college and go full neat. Of course I want to talk. I'm worried about you. Are you eating right? Have you put any thought into your future? Well, sorry for worrying you. But you'll be happy to know that I think about my future every day. I've got to find some way to be a neat forever. Are you serious right now? God, just tell me you're eating food that, like, might actually be good for you. Um, uh, potatoes technically count as vegetables, right? Yeah, no. Guess I was right to be worried about you. Your health's probably a train wreck by now. Food is fuel. And this dude is abnormally like too me before? Yeah, friendly. yeah. I take it you're gonna be free tomorrow, too? Hey, stop assuming I have no life. I mean, you're Good right, down. I am free, but that's beside the point. Then let's go grab lunch together. We'll get something that'll actually be good for you for a change. Oh, you're treating? Well, when do you get out of class? When do you want to meet? Wait, you do know I don't have school on the weekend, right? We're moments away from a Sunday, remember? I guess a need wouldn't need to know what day it was anyway. No school on Sundays, right. I forgot. See, for me, every day is Sunday. I'm sure it is. Anyway, I'll shoot you an email with the time and the place. Deal? Roger that. I'll probably be up around noonish, give or take. If you're gonna be late, let me know. Make me wait around again, and I'll bring the wrath of God down on you. Cool. I'll be waiting on your wake-up call then. I'm not your mother. Okay, later. Mm. Night, Mom. Oh, Man, that is always yeah. looking out for me. He's a regular guardian angel. I don't think I eat that badly. But my future? Yeah, no idea what I'm doing there. Yeah, I just don't want to work, ever. I want to be free to do what I want, when I want, how I want. Just like today. Speaking of, it'll be tomorrow any second now. Where'd I put that remote? Well, that was quick. 
two o'clock by the FOSS map on Main Street. Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. I'm not your mother, he says. What am I, a grade schooler the night before a field trip or something? Yep. Come on. I think that was a pretty accurate description. Mm -hmm. Who's calling at this hour? Why would anyone need to call me? <gasps> Why, hello, Mizuki. Isn't it just beautiful out today? <laughs> Don't you try to sweet talk me. Just how long did you plan on sleeping? Well, uh, what time is it now? It's 2.30. Seriously? Do you have even the faintest idea how worried I was? And after I told you over and over not to oversleep. Well, you know, I had a lot on my plate last night. Oh? Was it anime? Games? Or were you just tooling around on the internet? Uh, all of the above. Ugh, I really shouldn't be surprised at this point. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. Where are you right now? I told you in my email. I'm right by the FOSS map on Main Street. I'm heading there right now. Please, please, please don't leave. Sure, sure. Just don't forget to wash your face before you head out and brush your teeth. Damn it. I can't believe I did this to him two days in a row. But I've oh, got to hurry. Like this dude acting like he's in a relationship. This is scary. No friend should be that caring. I'm just going to be now. I'm just going to say it now. But no friend should be that caring. That is a ridiculous amount of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Ridiculous amount of give a fuck. You heard me right. A ridiculous amount of give a fuck. Go to this cat girl, don't go to hell somewhere. Hmm? Oh, hey, it's her again. Patio Cafe Nyan Dreamin' is now open! Nya! Nya! Hey, you're the cat girl maid from yesterday. Which makes sense since you told me today it was the grand opening. I remember you from yesterday, too. Are you here to patronize our fine establishment, Nya? Because our grand opening special is going on right now. Only 222 yen per drink. Ooh, it's a real steal. Sorry, I've got a friend waiting for me again. Same friend, actually. But I'll be back for you. Someday. I swear it. Ah, okay. See you next time. Fastest way to FOSS map is... Yep. Cutting right through the station. Time to make tracks. Another thing, supposedly this thing's supposed to be based on music. I don't. I mean, I've played a game that was similar to that before, but. This definitely isn't the Akihabara station I know. You feel it too, don't you? Akihabara. You sense that there's something wrong with the station as it is now. Uh, do I know you? I know you. At least, I know that this delusion is making you uneasy. If it weren't, we wouldn't be speaking right now. Hear me out, would you? Me? Uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now, so... It'll be fine. This will only take a moment of your time. I've really... Just answer my question. Do you or do you not sense that there's something off about this station right now? I don't need to sense it. Anyone could see that there's something weird going on around here. Hmm. What say you, Pinkoon? Could he be the cause? The cause of... What now? Never you mind. Just tell me. What does this look like to you? What does what look like? Look, look, lady, I really don't have time for this. Come on out, Pinkoon. Just leave him to me! Did that stuffed animal just talk? How rude! I may be positively adorable, but I am not a stuffed animal! Hm. I'm you a familiar bound to Saki's family bloodline! Wait, hold on, you've already lost me. How is this plushie moving or talking? 
I told you, I'm not a stuffed animal! Huh? So you can sense Pin Kun's mystical nature too, I see. Sense its mystical nature? You're pranking me, right? That right. clinches it. You're a deluser. I'm a... a what now? Come on, follow me. Okay, hold on a sec. How many times do I have to tell you I'm supposed to be meeting with a friend? I'm already late. Don't worry about it. I'm just taking you over there, even closer to the station building. Let's go, Pinkoon. Yes, ma'am! Hey, did you notice I didn't agree to any of this? And they're gone. Ugh, damn it, fine! I'll give them one minute, but I swear that's it! What took you so long? I'm not going to be this young and beautiful forever, you know. Hey, oh, I'm doing minutes. you a favor here. And what seconds, is all this anyway? It sure wasn't here yesterday. Oh, that reminds me. What's your name? Huh? My name? It ain't a hard question, Chuckles. If you're lucky, we might even remember it. Okay. It's Asahi. Asahi Tachibana. I live around here, and before you ask, yes, I'm eating just fine. Asahi. All right, I'll try to remember that. Oh, and I'm Saki Hoshino. This little guy here is Pinkun. Yo! Sorry to just ask you strange questions out of the blue, <laughs> no. but... Do you know what this object is, Asadachi? Tachi, with a T. And it's Asahi. Didn't you tell me you were gonna remember my name? And that's a good question. What is this thing? It looks like some kind of audio setup. Is this some kind of band thing or a publicity stunt for an audio shop? Either way, though, you'd figured it'd draw a crowd. Or at least people would have noticed it by now. That's right. And I can assure you that this is no publicity stunt. Tell me, Asahi, are you a big fan of audio equipment? You know, speakers, headphones, and the like? A big fan? Not really. I mean, I like music as much as the next guy, but I don't know the first thing about the hardware. I do own a pretty decent pair of gaming headphones for what that's worth. Saki, I really don't think this is our guy. He doesn't know his ass from his elbow when it comes to sound quality. I don't think I've ever met anyone quite so ignorant about audio equipment. Are you just true? I think he might just be one of us. Yeah? Guys, I'm literally right here. You're kind of being super rude. Man, today's been crazy. First the station gets all weird, then stuffed animals start talking to me. I am not a stuffed animal! Am I still sleeping? Yeah, that'd make sense. Probably still snoozing away. No, I can assure you that this is not a dream. Everything you've experienced today is very much a part of reality. This is a delusion come true. What, what is this marvelous vision? Pinkun, is he the one? He's a Yoshi Onda. So he's the source of this delu- This is amazing! Beyond astounding! The Akihabara of my dreams! Hey. You kids, what do you have to say about all this? Huh? Who, us? Can't you see how those speakers sparkle in the light? Drink in the majesty. This, this is Drink how it in, man. should look. This is a reflection of the way things should be. You, uh, you okay, man? You need me to call a doctor or something? Asahi, now's the time to use your ears, not your mouth. Let me tell you a little story. I'm the proprietor of Silver Sound. It's an audio specialty store here in Akihabara. Been running it for nearly 20 years now. That's an awfully long time to run a business here. I hear you, but Silver Sound will cover all your audio needs. Amps, speakers, headphones, you name it, we got it. You're probably too young to remember, but Akiba used to be an audio paradise. Me, I rode that wave from day one. Now it's all anime and idols and all that other garbage. It's a mess. Mm. Yes, I understand completely. But maybe I should say it was a mess. Either that's done and dusted, or I've misread this place for years. Because you look at it now, and the audio mecha's clearly back with a vengeance. Behold the new Akihabara. <laughs> Akihabara, dude, they literally missed... Okay, how do you make a Japanese game and you mess up the pronunciation of no one of the cities? Doubt. He's a Yoshi Onda is the source of this delusion. I totally nailed my prediction. So it would seem. Saki, look! Uh, what? That's the entrance. Come on, let's get inside.
Well, wait. Hold up. I need an explanation. Get back here. Ah. What in the name of all that is holy am I looking at? I've definitely never seen a door like this before. It's the entrance to the Delusionscape. Great. So, what's a Delusionscape? And how's this freestanding door an entrance to anything? Is this a prop? It's very simple. That man we spoke to, he's a Yoshi Onda. The balance in his heart this has This is kind of like Persona. In doing so, it formed a path to a new Delusionscape. That's all. It's like he created a palace. Cool, cool. And then because but you find out his name, you gain entry. Makes any sense, right? Of course, the person has to do more, no but the three it's kind of like that. To work together to shatter this delusion. So, what? You're gonna wreck this door? And wait, did you say the three of us? How'd I get roped in? How could you not? You're just as involved in this as we are now. Look alive, boy! We're going in. B whoa! Hold up! Wait! You gotta be kidding me! That settles it. I must be losing my mind. Ugh, damn it! Fine, let's do this! Sorry about this, Mizuki. I'll treat you to dinner later or something. What is this place? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Or even Akiba, for that matter. Probably not the time to take in the sights, though. Saki, you alive? Delusions. Just as I feared. Go get him, Saki! I'm not even sure what they're fighting, but it looks pretty intense. This has to be some sort of movie shoot. Well, well how come you never noticed that he's holding the sword right now? Had. It this should have been a tutorial, this not the tough. whatever they was doing in the game. I if I can take it on my own. I said, this one's pretty tough. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to handle all by my lonesome. Oh, no! Yo, Asahi, you waiting for someone to paint you a picture or something? Get your head out of your ass and help us. Nope, I'm good. More than happy not to fight any unspeakable horrors. So, uh, it's been fun, but I'm heading home. Asahi! Asahi's gonna run away! What? W wait! Asahi, come back! I really need your help! Or are you really going to abandon a girl in need in a scary place like this? Yep. This is your own damn fault! You're the one who brought us here in the first place! <coughs> Whoa! Hey, hey, are you alright? She is so not alright, you dingus! Now hurry up and go save her! Ugh. Damn it! So many unanswered questions. He never questioned why he had the sword. Never even questioned whether or not he knew how to fight the thing, but whatever. Hey, you okay? Saki, Asahi's here! I see our plan was a rousing success. Wait, weren't you supposed to be in distress? I'm not seeing a lot of distress right now. Ah, oh, hell. There it is. Thank you for coming to my rescue, Asahi. But now I need your strength. Excuse me, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a neat. Strength isn't exactly our most widely praised asset. Quit your belly aching. We're not asking you to punch him out or anything. What do you think you've got that sword for? Huh? What sword? The one in your right hand, dingus. What? 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 Where did this come from? You just what noticed? You that? You've had it in your hand the whole time you've been here. What the hell is happening to me? I mean, this is actually pretty badass, but still... Okay, that's less badass. Asahi, eyes for 
forward. They're coming in for the kill. Uh, I still have a million questions, but this is really happening, huh? all of them and i have to admit for a first battle that was a pretty impressive showing so what you're saying is i'm awesome not that that's surprising because i totally am <laughs> no question in fact i've been fighting for a long time probably should have mentioned it earlier but i'm an old pro oh are you now tell me just when and where have you been fighting and against what exactly hmm good questions before i go to sleep in my head, and against an endless onslaught of scallywags. But hold on a sec, that's beside the point. Were those just actual monsters? You keep telling me this isn't a dream, but let's be real here. This has gotta be a dream. Pinkun, please pinch Asahi's cheek. With pleasure! Oh, stop! Okay, okay, you win! It's not a dream. Somehow, this is real life. It's important that you accept that. Everything that's happened is reality. And it's no movie shoot. Yeah. You see any cameras anywhere? Besides, what kind of casting director would ever put a neat in the lead? Are you making fun of me again? I feel like you're making fun of me again. <laughs> but damn it, stop changing the subject. You're seriously saying those monsters we fought are actual physical things? I can't even wrap my brain around how that's possible. And I don't want to either. More could come and kill us. There's no need to worry. We're going to be fine. As long as we have your power, Asahi, we'll be able to beat them. This isn't a manga! How many times do I have to tell you? I'm a neat. There's not a single muscle on my body. I'm going home for real this time. I may not have any prospects for the future, but that doesn't mean I'm ready to die. So you're just going to throw us to the wolves and walk off then? In a dangerous place like this? With vicious creatures lurking around every corner ready to pounce on us? And you call yourself a man. Uh, we're doing this now? Without you here to lend us your strength, I'll almost assuredly be overpowered and placed in grave danger, whereupon the monsters will capture and inflict countless terrors upon me. Not really. You know, a little this, a bit of that. Poor Saki. Asahi's stubborn refusal to help means that you have a brief but agonizing life of misery ahead. Alas. Come on, Pinkoon. Asahi may not be willing to join us. But we can at least try to go out in a final blaze of glory. Shame. Still, you never annoying. have to worry about me abandoning you. I'll be right by your side until the bitter end. Ah, fine. I'll help, damn it. Will that shut the two of you up at least? It sure will. You'll really join us? Well, I can't just take my sword and go home after a guilt trip like that. <laughs> Thank you, Asahi. I've even changed my opinion of you ever so slightly. You may be a neat, but you're not that bad a guy. Uh, well, there go any chances I had of a relaxing, carefree day at home. And... Sorry, Mizuki. All right. If you're ready, let's get going. We're headed for the deepest point of the delusion scape. This is what she may lack in raw power. She makes up for rapid attacks. She also has the ability to heal your party members. Pinkoon is joining the party. His arms are too stubby, but he'll be a support character. He will guide you and explore. No enemy, other enemies. Only the new escape if you attack the enemy on the field map, you get a chance to fight first. Oh, yeah, that's typical stuff.
you know, or on even on.
I wanted to hear what the rest of you had to say. I was going to say, you better use it in case the power go out in your house. <laughs> Game does have some spoof moments. What's this? What the heck is this thing? It's got a totally different vibe from everything else we fought. Just as every castle has its lord, so too does every delusionscape have its grand phantasm. But who comes up with this stuff? Look, we'll explain later, okay? Don't let your guard down, Asahi. This creature's on an entirely different level than the others. If we can defeat it, though, we'll keep the delusion from encroaching any further into the real world. God damn it, all this gamey terminology is making my head throb. What the crap is going on right now? Saki, Pinkoon, we're in this together now, so you'd better explain everything to me if we live through this. The enemy's all alone. Good. I'll blow you away. <laughs> Not so fast. Run up through! Find your mark! Not the hot, hot, hot. 
Try this. <sighs> is... Is it over? It is now. One way or another, we've managed to win the day. You fought well. Oh, I thought I was gonna die back there. Can I take a break? I think I've earned a break. After we leave. We have to confirm that this delusion's encroachment upon the real world has been nullified. See, you keep saying all these words, but they're not making any sense to me. Can I get an explanation, please? Hey, Dingus, did you hear us ask for your feedback? Now hurry up and let's get out of here. Boom, chapter two, we'll start up soon. Good to be back. Huh? The station's back to normal. How astute of you. Yes, as I mentioned before, we've nullified the delusion. Uh, what's going on? Hey, it's that guy. Uh, what am I doing here? I just stepped out for a minute to buy myself some lunch, and then the station looked all different. It was like the Akihabara I'd always wanted. Oh, but what happened after all that? My memory's really fuzzy. Maybe I'm just exhausted. I should head home and take a nap. There's something fishy going on around here, though. I don't know what it is, but it's real, real fishy. That dude is high as hell. And off he goes. Which means the world's been saved from his delusion, and we can finally close the book on this incident. No, we cannot close the book on this incident. Not until you tell me what the hell is going on around here. Start from the beginning, and don't skip a single detail. And use words I can understand this time. As you wish. I suppose you do have the right to know at this point. I'll tell you what's happening in this reality, and just what it is we're fighting. So you better perk up your ears and listen close, because she ain't going to tell you twice. So, what's the story? I've been absolutely clueless this whole time. That's a generous way to put it. As I said before, we nullified a delusion that was encroaching on reality. Simple. Okay, so, the changes to the station were that guy's delusion, and beating the Grand Phantasm got rid of them? Now you've got it. Those changes you saw were a delusion made manifest. In this case, Mr. Onda's. Hold on. If someone's delusions start muscling in on reality, doesn't that just mean they're delusional? But you saw his delusion with your own eyes, didn't you? The station building reflected his desires very clearly. Only when we defeated the Grand Phantasm within the Delusionscape did those manifested desires revert to reality. I mean, yeah, I saw something going on with the station, but someone else's delusion? That's a hard pill to swallow. Would it go down easier if I told you not to think of it as a delusion at all? A real occurrence from start to finish? Not really. Because if that were the case, why wouldn't any of the other passers-by notice something was up? That's the nature of delusions when they manifest themselves in reality. The only people able to see their effects are the ones who spawn them. And us. Okay, 
So then the hundred million yen question is who, or what, I guess, are you guys? We're chosen ones, destined to perceive delusions working their way into reality and eliminate them. And I'm her familiar. Does, does that mean I'm one of the chosen ones too? Well, of course. And I'm very excited to work with you from here on out, Asahi. Nah. Yeah? I still don't understand this whole encroachment business. And the only thing I'm chosen to be is a neat. Besides, I'm a busy man. In fact, just today, I'm already scheduled to meet up with a friend of mine for... lunch. Crap! W what What's wrong? I got so caught up in all this nonsense, I forgot all about my promise to Mizuki. Oh man, he's gotta be spitting fire by now. As if standing him up yesterday wasn't bad enough. Oh god, I've got an email. Better brace for impact. Oh, sweet! I just won a million yen, and all I've got to do is click. Don't mind if I do. Wow, congratulations. Aw, oh, damn it. It's just spam mail. Okay, Mizuki's got to be mad at me, but there isn't even the slightest indication he tried to get in touch. Well, it's rather rude to be late to two meetings in a row. I'm honestly shocked that you'd do something like that. You do realize it's your fault, right? Hey, this time it is from Mizuki. I sure hope he's not too pissed. Huh? What does it say? Two o'clock by the FOSS map on Main Street. Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. My, he's still inviting you out tomorrow even after you skipped on your date? What an understanding friend. No, that's not it. And it's not a date. This is exactly the same email he sent me yesterday. Word for word. What does that mean? No way! Now what's going on? You really need to stop yelling like that. You're going to give someone a heart attack. Hey, Saki. Today was Sunday, right? That's right. Though it's so late at this point, it must be Monday by now. Would you do me a favor and check today's date on your phone? Hmm? Uh, all right. What? How can that be? That's what I want to know. So tell me, Miss Delusion Buster, how can it be Sunday all over again? And so began our Sunday. Our hectic, never-ending Sunday. Full of laughter and tears. Good times and bad. Honestly, it was kind of a disaster. But I had to write it out. For I was the chosen one. Yes, I was chosen. I was special. I truly believe that even now. Because thanks to this ludicrous Sunday, I've made so many wonderful memories. We are not listening to that. That is getting me in trouble. I gotta skip that. Progress. I'm assuming we're going into chapter two. I'm gonna end this video.